Freak Freckles. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kelly Kolb here. Today what I got going on for you is I'm actually filming my faux freckles tutorial finally. This is probably my most suggested or requested video ever and I'm so 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 excited to get this out for you guys because I absolutely love doing faux freckles. So if you guys want to see how I get my fake freckles then just keep on watching. So instead of using eyeshadow today I'm actually going to use these two types of cake powder that are a brow powder from NYX and I'm taking a little lip brush and just swirling it really really hard to get this kind of like residue as you can see on the end of the brush. I want all that loose powder on there because what we're actually going to be doing is tapping the brush on our nose. As you can see there's a lot of fallout on the face so that's going to make it a little bit more irregular and make the freckles look as natural as possible. And so I just repeat this step all over my face and I go in between the dark powders and the light powders so I kind of just get some variation in the colors of the freckles as well. If you're not getting enough fallout from tapping the brush on your nose, remember that you can always tap the brush with your fingers and that'll cause it to fall out better on your face. I had a really hard time today with getting it on my face. It was a big thing. Then what I'm going to do is I'll set it with some setting spray and then dab my beauty blender into it to kind of set the first layer of freckles and then we're going to move on to the next couple layers. So in the second layer of the freckles we're going to repeat the same exact steps and kind of just make the layers more dense with the freckles in them. I'll also take an angled or pointed tip brush and dip it into any of the brow powders and kind of make a little bit bigger dots, bigger freckles all over my face. Kind of just put some variation in between the sizes and everything so it makes it look more natural. And then once I'm done doing that, I'll put on some more setting spray and call it good. So as you can see, our end result is a really nice natural looking freckle while still kind of upping the game a little bit. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to me. And if you guys haven't seen my last two videos, they'll be linked right here. I absolutely love each and every one of you and I'm so thankful for all of you every single day. You have no idea. I'm going to go now but I will see you in my next video. Bye!